Hey everyone, today we will have a look at the CraftMed system where we will make a program in two minutes. So that's doing a job of one or two hours in two minutes. So to start with, what we do is we take a new scan. Now during the new scan, we will take a 3D photo of your component and create trajectories over the component. Now you can see on the screen that we have the photo from the top of the component. Now we can select the areas where we want to do the sanding. To, do, to go with it, I'll just go here and select the area. Once I select the area, I have got the trajectories. So these trajectories may be user defined, maybe at an angle, even wider or closer. Depends on what we are actually do, want to do. Now once I have that, I'll plan the program. Now during the plan program, it will check for any unwarranted things like collisions or singularities, something like that. Once I have the confirmation that everything is okay, I can actually simulate uh, the program and see how the robot is going to perform the motions. So if I drag the bar ar uh, around here, I can see the robot is performing motions. And if I'm happy with the robot motions or the simulation, I can just say done and save the program. Now the software will save the program into the server. So the next time I have the same component, I can use the same program all over again. Once I have that, I'll say done and start. So we created a program in two minutes that might take around an hour to do manually. You can see on the robot that there's an active interface or a active compensation tool. If I press it around here, there's a spring action. So what it does is it, it really uh, makes the force constant. So you can actually set how much force you want to apply while doing the sanding or grinding applications. Once the uh, pressure is set, you can also change the pressure on the fly, like here from the interface. For some applications, if you want to speed up the process or uh, slow down the process, you can also do it from the interface. I can just go here and reduce the speed. You can see the robot is slow. Now I can also increase the speed as per my requirement. 